All right, let's talk a little uh, Shakespeare, a little Bill Shakespeare. St. Louis Shakespeare Festival this year is 12th night. St. Louis Post-Dispatch theater critic Judith Newmark. Judith, welcome to Big 550 KTRS. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. What, you, you don't want to come in studio and hang out with us, or what's going on? Oh, gee, you know, theater happens at night. This is not my time of day. I made my editor call me to make sure that I would be awake for this. I said, I don't trust the alarm clock. I don't trust the telephone. You call me and yell at me like I'm on deadline. <laughs> Judith, Judith, I want to party over with you, cowgirl. Oh, I, I get off. Two o'clock, four o'clock. I'm good. I mean, in the morning. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. The the short side of eight twenty isn't very good, but the long side of eight twenty could be good in the morning. That's right. That's yeah. right. Uh, all right. So the uh, Shakespeare Festival this year, twelfth night. What do we think? Oh, it's one of my favorites. First of all, it's a romantic comedy, and it really is. And it's just, I mean, people say, oh, it's really stupid because. How could you think a girl was a boy just because she put on a pair of pants? Okay, just accept that. Just go with it, okay? And then, after that, anything could happen. <laughs> uh, it, it, if somebody's not necessarily a fan of Shakespeare, will they be able to enjoy it? They certainly will, and I will tell you why, because I have made it so easy for you. In the paper last Sunday, John Telford who's a, a really wonderful artist. He and I do this thing every year, and we do a cartoon version of it. Mm-hmm. It was in the paper last Sunday. You can find it online, STL Today, and it goes through the story, which is really a pretty simple story. Mixed up twins, a girl disguised as a boy, and uh, a wise clown, and some beautiful ideas about love. And uh, all that happens, and we showed you frame by frame. Now, let's say that you get to the festival, and you have forgotten to bring your copy of last Sunday's Post-Dispatch, and you also have not brought any kind of a device mm-hmm. that you can read it on. Sure. In that case, we have a giant wall that uh, the Post and, uh, and, and the festival got together to make it's the cartoon and it's huge and it will be right there in front of you and it'll break it down for you and on top of that if none of this is enough uh some real young actors do a 20 minute version of the play before the play starts now one thing about the festival get there early because you're gonna there's, there's no assigned seating so you got to find a good seat so i say get there early you're going to sit on the lawn Bring a blanket or bring some chairs, and um, if you want to pay a little more, you, you know, it's free. But if you want to pay something, you can actually rent a chair. And then you walk around for a while after you got your space, and there's you can read the wall, you can eat, you can see this the the young actors doing this show. It is a lot of fun. All right, Judith Newmark, here's my question. Yeah. Can you really buy that she's a, gr- a guy, a girl who wears pants? I mean, I can't buy that part of it. It, it is difficult, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I will tell you something. When I was a kid, when I was in college, I played that part. Uh-huh. I really did. Uh-huh. And you just kind of have to figure each, each person, she knows she's not a guy. Judith, let me ask you this question. Has a reason to want to believe it. Uh, let me ask you this this question, Judith. First yeah. of all, I, I can't believe you, you don't have your own radio show as is the way you're, <laughs> you've got so much spunk. Maybe because you don't want to get up at 8.30 in the morning. Um, Isn't there another drive time, McGraw? No, there's only one drive time, and that's oh. in the morning. Yeah, no. What do you call the one in the afternoon? That's a Matter of fact, they, they call themselves AM in the PM, so they're a morning drive radio show, too. I think that one sounds a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to leave us for, for Frank after our first night? Oh, I know. I'd come and talk to you any time as long as Jody will call me and wake me up. As long as it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it, well, no, I'll talk to you. I'm going back to bed after this. I don't suppose you are. <laughs> <laughs> J- J- Judith, how, when, when is the, how long is the Shakespeare Festival going on for? It goes to the 16th of June, which is perfect. It goes right until the Muni opens. Beautiful. And uh, where can we get tickets? You don't need tickets. 
It's because free. Because it's free. How about that? You just go to Forest Park. Yeah. And, okay, the easiest way, if you never saw it before, go look for the art museum. Because it's Shakespeare Glen, where the stage is, is right under Art Hill. Beautiful. Can't miss it, is, is what you're Can't telling us. Can't miss it. All right, now, uh, Judith Newmark, St. Louis Post-Dispatch theater critic. Are, you're going to review the Muni, right, for us? This? Oh, yeah, the Muni. I absolutely. They're opening with Spamalot, which, can you picture a show better for the Muni stage? you got knights, you have ladies, you have King Arthur. It's really wild and funny, and that's going to open the season. Uh, so I, I'm calling dibs on you from now until uh, you are no longer able to speak to us for all of your theater reviews. Hey, you got me, McGraw. I, I would be real quiet to do that. You know, people do not give St. Louis enough credit. we got a really great theater scene here, and... Uh, I always say, suppose you suppose you go to the theater and you didn't have a good time. Oh, that would be terrible, right? It's one night. Give it a chance. <laughs> We've all seen bad movies. We don't think it's a, such a big deal. You know, sometimes it's really wonderful. It's always a gamble. I That's agree. Part of the fun. Uh, Judith, how long have you been the uh, theater critic for the St. Louis Post? It's been a of time. I, <laughs> 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 so you were there. You were there for the very first season of the Muni. You, yes, in 1917. How about that? <laughs> that you, actually, you, I'm sure you remember my predecessor, Joe Pollock. I do remember Joe. Yes, yes. So I, before this is the crazy thing. There have only been, as far as I know, three of us. There was a guy named Miles Standish, then Joe, then me, and I've, I've been there since '95. The guy's name was Miles Standish. He was a descendant of our Pilgrim forebears. Yes. Really? The guy's real yes. name was Miles Standish. And and he really was descended from the guy with you know. He was like My- Miles. He, was he Miles Standish the fourth or something? Oh, probably more like the fifteenth. I don't know. <laughs> hey, I guess yeah. Good point. I guess. Uh, all right, Judas. So so you give the Shakespeare Festival show Twelfth Night uh, your approval. Well, I'll really give it my approval after I've, you know, seen it, which I won't because it doesn't open until this Friday night. Aha. Uh, so I'll, I'll be there on Friday, but I give the festival my approval. I haven't missed one yet. It is so fun. And this one is really appropriate for the whole family. You can take your grandma, you can take little kids. I mean, every and we got the big cartoon to explain it to you. I also, I don't want to brag, Judith, but you know you're talking to um, an award-winning Shakespearean actor. Oh, indeed. Yes, I, I won an award. I was the wall in A Midsummer Night's Dream in hey, high school. that's a very good part. That is a great part. Absolutely, be, be, because there are no small parts. There are only small actors. Yeah, and as I used to tell my kids when they were doing this kind of thing, it, you know, not every actor can make a show. Right. But any one actor, no matter how small the part, can destroy it utterly. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that when I told you I was an actor? Because uh, uh, <laughs> That's what all actors should bear in mind, that it's a group effort. Judith Newmark, St. Louis Post-Dispatch theater critic. Uh, how can we read your reviews online? You go to STL today and go to entertainment and then keep going down. Just scroll down. You'll come to arts and theater. You'll come to the reviews. You'll come to the features. You'll come to everything. STLtoday.com. Judith Newmark, this is the, begin- the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Yeah, I only wish we could be, could be friends at a more reasonable time of day. <laughs> but, I, but I'll talk to you no matter what, as long as Jody gets me up. Judith Newmark, St. Louis Post-Dispatch Theater Critic. Thank you very much, Judith. Go back to bed. Good job. Good to you. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How about that? Good night. It's 8.30 in the morning. I want to party with you, cowgirl. 8.30 of the Big 550 KTRS and stltoday.com slash McGraw.